Hello and welcome to Babble of Girls Sits and Knits. My name is Meg and I will be your host. You're joining me here on November 21st. <laughs> oh my god. No. What? Is it really? Oh my gosh. The 21st already. Thanksgiving is just around the corner for us here in the US. Um, and I am very excited to see my cousins and everything have going on. And yeah, it's just been very, very busy. I have tons to share with you. I have been gone for probably a month. I'm so sorry. It's just been absolute, absolute madness. And I was taking the mental health. <laughs> um, but I have missed you and I am excited to be chatting about everything. So, um, Let's dive right in. I have a few finished objects and a few um, works in progress and uh, something that I have been working on right now, I am wearing my Hogwarts history, which looks like so. Um, and it is a color work yoke sweater that I designed and uh, I have since been designing several different color work sweaters. So what I have done is I was trying out my new uh, yoke design called Frozen Fractals. Uh, frozen fractal sweater and I am very excited because I made a puppy sweater. So um, I have a dog, Gypsy, and uh, she is a German short hair pointer and I um, I wanted to test out my new color work yoke and it was a lot faster to knit her a sweater than to knit me a sweater so I knit her a sweater. Um, so it goes like so. So this is the belly like this. I know this lighting is not great. I will be working on getting a, a front light and then we'll be all good, but hang with me for today. Um, so it has these little armholes here and I just did eye cord edges around them. And then um, the snowflake pattern goes all the way around. And then there it is, y'all. Yep. So um, there's two different versions of you can have snowflakes up here or you can um, move this one up here and have snowflakes here. And I have another snowflake I wanna add in and then you have a little break here with a little snow. And um, that after that snow is where I split for her um, yoke. And then the last bit was the uh, snowflakes and snow. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I, I think I did more snow on mine than hers. Um, but yeah, so it turned out really, really cute. I am so thrilled with it. Uh, it is made out of acrylic yarn from Michaels. Um, it's soft. I think it might be Simply Soft Caron, Simply Soft, uh, in probably the navy colorway. And then um, I used some Knit Picks Wool of the Andes in a gray. So it might have been dove gray, somewhere around there. Um, so just a little up close like so and no beads on hers there are beads on mine but no beads on hers uh just so that there wouldn't be one more thing to bug her but she wears this a lot and she's actually done really well with it i took some finished object photos um i might take another round but i think i've got what i need to do the pattern um so far she has oh i'm gonna forget but it's like a 20 something inch chest and what i'm going to do is i'm going to tell you in the pattern what her measurements are and then um I'm gonna just grade up one size and down one size um, and see where that goes. <laughs> and um, perhaps you would make it in like a slightly thinner than D, this is like a worsted DK weight. So if you go down in yarn, then you can make a smaller sweater, right? Make sense? So yes, I'm very pleased about that. Uh, let me see, I wanna kind of shove things away as I go. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, I'll move into the next. Okay, so this is, this is the Gramps cardigan. It is for Pat. Um, I'm doing a 38 to 40 inch chest. I have mostly followed the directions. Um, I don't think, I think I got lost in the yoke and I thought it was deep enough and it really wasn't. Um, it, it should have been a longer depth yoke, but that's my fault, not the patterns. And um, I ha I did the short rows, but then I realized that he needed even more short rows because I didn't have enough yoke depth. Um, so I had to do more short rows on top of, but I made this really fabulous folded over collar thing here. So let me see if I can just, put half of it on, just throw it around me for the moment. So it kind of goes like so, um, where it'll be 
folded and cute and it's long 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 with a one by one twisted rib not sure if you can see it um, it is this is the yarn again the lighting oh so poor I'm so sorry um, it is knit picks wool of the Andes superwash bulky uh, in the Solstice Heather colorway. And if you could see this in light, it is just the most gorgeous blend of blue and almost purple in the heathering. It's really pretty. Um, so yeah, it's it's all done in here. So I have finished the body. Let's see if I can flip it this way and hold it that way. So I finished the body. <laughs> Yay! Um, and uh, picked up and I knit the button band which actually kind of flew because um, it was different <laughs> and I used a US 6 um, but I think I could have used a US 7 and then I did wet block that and um, I wet blocked the body so it's it's feeling even softer which it's not scratchy and it's kind of next to skin but it's not like kittens it's just soft you know what I mean so um yeah, the uh, the raglan, the yoke depth isn't quite what it should be. Um, and that, again, is my fault. Uh, so now for the next one, yes, there will be another husby sweater um, for the next one, I know. Uh, but I am really, overall, very pleased with it. It did take, ooh, I want to say maybe I've been working on it for three, four weeks now. Um, and it's just been... A bit of a labor of love. My uh, hand cramps in here when I do purl stitches with large needles. So um, thank you to everyone who reached out and kind of gave me some suggestions on like stretching or CBD oils or hot massage or that kind of thing. Um, thank you. I'm thrilled. Uh, it really, yeah, really pretty good. Um, so yeah, body's all done. Now I just have to add the buttons, which I thought I grabbed a set of. Let me see if I have it right here. If I don't, I won't worry, I did. Okay, so I just went to Joann's yesterday. Um, hello to Catherine who checked me out. Um, that sounds weird. Uh, she was the cashier, there we go. <laughs> and she recognized me as Bad Wolf Girl, which I was just like, oh, made my day. Hi. <laughs> um, but yes, I bought these buttons and they're uh, like a leather, faux leather, um, blue. This is the smaller size. They, they came in slightly larger and I think that this will be perfect because they aren't too big. All right, show you an example. I pop one through one of the buttonholes and it went through very well, um, but it's a really nice look on there so i'm really excited about that i think that uh they're just going to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit more um and it seems to be uh just big enough for the buttonholes that they're takes a little bit to get them through they're not going to pop out um but this was this was a majority of the knitting that I've been doing in the last couple of weeks. It is a bulky weight. I was using a US 8, so it was working up very quickly. I did gypsy sweater on a US 8. Um, the last sweater that I did for Pat was on a 9, I wanna say, and maybe that was why it grew so much because it was um, at too loose a gauge. I have no idea how to fold this right now, so this giant hunk is just gonna go over there. And then, um, I don't know if I showed this one off. This is the um, one of my whips. So I guess we're in whips now. Um, I have been knitting from the Remember Me color uh, from Coco. Um, and this is Nomadic Yarns. And it looks like so. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm really not sure if I showed these off. It's been so long. I'm sorry. Um, and I'm using the Celestial Blue for the um, Heels, toes, and cuffs. And this is actually a cotton and acrylic blend. Uh, it is very soft. Um, I'm actually debating a sweater. Debating a sweater in it because it's very soft. I feel like it would just, it would just be so soft to wear. So I'm completely um, enamored by that. 
and every time I go to help my mom, um, she is currently selling her house um, and moving to Gettysburg around March, April. So every time I go out to Gettysburg, um, which is about a half hour up from us, I'd say, uh, I pull out the sock and I knit on it. So I'm trying to infuse it with all these memories. Um, I've got, I guess, I guess about a repeat and two stripes done. So not a ton, but um, I, I really do only pull it out for those trips. I haven't gone to the movies in a really long time. Um, and the last movie I went to go see was Downton Abbey and it was really good. Um, but I took my sweater. Yeah, I took my Mandrake sweater, the Hermione Granger. I took the Granger sweater and I knit on that. Um, so yeah. Now I have been primarily working on Patrick's sweater to get that done, but um, I did first because I am selfish. Um, <laughs> because I I just I was really obsessed with getting this forward. So I knit Gypsy's sweater first. Then I was able to cast on and work on my frozen fractal so it looks like so and you can see the different chart i have the snow and then the weave and then the um big flakes and then tiny flakes and after the after these after these i i did the split so they go all the way onto the arms so it's a um a longer yoke than I have been doing for myself and I really like it. Maybe only by 10 or 12 stitches in depth wise, but I really like how this one looks and I did beads on it twice. I have beads in the middle of every one of these and I have beads in the middle of every one of these. So a lot of beading. Um, I will say that I do have a big highlighted st section at the end of my paragraphs and stuff that'll tell you how I beat it, which is typically I knit the stitch and then I slip it off into the air and I have the um, crochet hook with a bead on it and I hook it through and I put it back on the needle, tighten it all up and go again. So I usually have like the crochet hook tucked into me, my ear um, or like through a band over here on my wrist. and. I it just, it does take a while, but if you get into a rhythm, it, it doesn't take as long. Um, and just have all your beads out and ready and yeah. Uh, so I'm really, I'm really, really thrilled. So Frozen Fractal, looking for December, January. Probably more January, maybe my mom's birthday. It should be January 9th, so that could be cool. I have one tester that is pretty much done with her DK weight test. Um, and she was one of my smaller sizes. So um, that did that did help, you know, to speed along. But I have a couple doing DK, I have a couple doing fingering weight, and I have um, at least one working through the child size. So the Hogwarts of History mini version has recently gotten a makeover and um, has been a lot better. So uh, I just wanna throw that out there that if you bought it, that you should definitely go and update it because the um, the new pattern is uh, much more helpful and has a changed amount in the neck. So it is going to change what you do immediately. So I would highly recommend going back, updating it, making sure that you have it. Um, I'm trying to uh, work over more heads, more noggins. Um, I uh, cast on, I'll say, 96 98 stitches here and I did it on a US 3 and it fits over my husband's head who which is a 24 and a half inch head and without issue without pulling tearing stretching really so this has a ton of give I just do a normal cast on and then I did one by one rib so I know that if at the correct gauge it can work um, and I really hope that it, it helps a lot. So this body is done. I just have to weave in the end down here. So the body is done. I am on the sleeves and I have, oh, this was one night and this was another night. So um, I want to say that I need at least what I've got here, uh, say 10 inches. Um, and I might have three done. So 
not too bad, um, but it's, it is going to take a little bit of work. But I did get distracted, like you do. Um, my vision is that I will have my sweater and Pat will have his sweater, and then um, Gypsy will have her sweater, and we'll all get a photo together <laughs> with all of our sweaters. I love it. So excited. So um, yesterday I mentioned that I went to uh, Joanne Fabrics and I picked up the buttons that I'm throwing on the ground, threw it on the ground, uh, the buttons for um, Patrick's Gramps cardigan. And while I was there, I turned around and I saw this. It's so cute. It's a little unicorn. So cute. So what it's supposed to do is you thread it through and you put your little blanket in here and then you can attach the pacifier back there. Um, and it just Velcros up and down so you can just loop it in. And um, it is it is really cute, it is really, really cute. So uh, it had a little tie on the bottom of the ball. I kept it. I'm not sure what it's for yet, but there is that. Um, I don't think it's this way, I think it's this way. Yeah, the pacifier would be that way. But anyway, um, so I bought the yarn that it came with. It looked like so. And um, I was reading reading the back before I kind of got started uh, for this yarn. And it is acrylic, which I've got nothing against. It feels pretty soft. Um, I would have been fine to knit with it. But the problem is it's hand wash only. Like, this is a baby toy. Why are you making something hand wash only? So I quickly decided I'm just going to donate that. And um, I happened to have picked up another ball that was sock yarn that I thought I would make the, the blanket bigger with. So um, that is this one. It is Manny Petty, which is another Joanne Fabrics um, sock yarn uh, in the yoga colorway. <laughs> I don't know why it's called yoga, but it is. It's called yoga. And uh, so last night I knew that many people that I kind of watch and listen to have done grandma's favorite dishcloth. And though I've never felt the inclination to knit a dishcloth, um, I decided that that would be the perfect way to plan out this baby blanket because I wanted it to be... Um, well, what I thought I was gonna do is use up one entire ball and then finish it with the other entire ball. Um, but they actually have two different yarn weights. So this one had like 213 yards, whereas that one only had like 190 maybe. So anyway, um, I'm working up on a US seven. I started on a six and it was just, um, it was a little tight and I wanted it really drapey after I, I blocked it. So I went to a seven, Here, I'll start showing it to you. Um, and so I looked up the grandma's favorite dishcloth pattern it is free on Ravelry. I've linked it to the project page and um, I started, you know, I started over here and uh, worked my way around. And last night I got about four rows away from half. So I, um, about, ooh, I don't know. I started figuring that I was gonna need to know what, like how much yardage I had left. So I measured it and I, a 50 gram ball, it might be more, but assuming a 50 gram ball, half would be about 25. So um, I, I pulled out of the skein until what was left weighed about 26. And then I knit until everything that I had pulled out was gone this morning. Um, so that was like two more, three more rows. And then um, I referred back to the pattern. I thought I had assumed how to do the decreases and I was right. So um, I just went ahead and Gypsy was getting her stitches out today. So I wanted something that I could sit in the waiting room um, and knit and the sweater was gonna be too bulky. So this was perfect. Um, and so I got, I got up to here and now I'm into the second half of the skein. Um, still have no idea why it's called yoga, but it's really cute. And so about shoulder to shoulder is um, how wide it is for me. About, and that's like kind of pulling it, like letting it go back in. So um, it's soft, 
with the US 7, but what I really cannot wait for is the drape. Um, I want to, like it's already pretty, you know, like it like drapes nice. Um, it's already really pretty. I think I'm gonna loop that unicorn through like so. Look how cute it's gonna be. I just can't even, like me. It's a little unicorn. <laughs> getting way too much of a kick out of this. This is for my niece, if I didn't mention. I'm not pregnant. Um, this is for my niece, and I'm gonna give it to her for Christmas. I'm so excited. And I don't know if I wanna hang it on, like, the corner, so it would be, like, long in the middle. I mean, I guess Kim can kinda change it. I'll put it somewhere, and then um, it has a bow on the back, so you just untie it. So she can just untie it and stick it to where she thinks would be the most useful for her. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the middle just for like maximum drape cuteness for the, the gift. Um, but theoretically, if she was, um, you know, nursing or something, not nursing, but I, she's using the pacifier, um, the blanket would then be able to lay on her body, which might be soothing. I don't know. <laughs> Um, but I am very excited about this. Um, I want to pop into Michael's. I think I saw some more. Um, I'd have to look up how much this was. I didn't even look when I picked it up. I just saw it. There were only three unicorns left. There's nothing else. Um, and I found out that there's a llama. And I'm like, well, shut up. Now I need that. But then, but then, so then I'm thinking, I'm like, I need this and I need this and I need this. And then I'm like, but wait, I crochet. What if I just made my own amigurumi, crocheted a um, like a little tail, um, sewed a snap onto the toy, sewed a snap onto the back so that it can be opened and closed like this, and um, and then the the whole thing would be handmade, which I think would be even more special. Um, so as much as I do love this, I I stopped myself from going on yarn.com and ordering all of them. <laughs> um, I mean, the ones with snowflakes and Santas and they're all so cute. I, and elves, like, oh my gosh, like I just can't. I might end up getting an elf still, maybe not this year. Um, well, I guess she's a couple months old. She'll be a year and a couple months old and she shouldn't have a pacifier, but maybe a toy. I don't know. Um, again, I can't wait for her to have like opinions on things, but in, uh, so I started it last night at dinner, so 5.30, and <laughs> I'm already past middle and I'm working my way, and since you're decreasing, I'm losing a stitch, and it's just going a little bit faster every row. So this has been kind of my like palette cleanser, shall we say, um, because I've just been doing sweaters, 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 with Gypsy and then Pat and then mine. And I have some yarn coming in. Um, I got some of the bulky yarn on sale at Knit Picks, so I'm gonna do Pat another sweater. And I think, yep, this is the pattern. Um, it's the Lumberjack. Yeah, it's really cute. So this is, whoa, sorry, this is the pattern. Um, and I think that Pat would just look really great in this. This looks just his aesthetic. Um, it's gonna, I'm gonna shorten it a little bit cause it's, it's a little long. And um, I'm gonna make sure that the sleeves are long enough that he can just like judge them up about a half inch, no more, like, you know, just, but I really think that this is gonna be great. Now, um, I believe that this is a, DK, uh, one skein is 260 yards. So I will I will assess what I've got going on and then go backwards. Um, for example, this is 185 yards. This is basic stitch anti-pilling acrylic from Joann's. And I picked this up because I want to um, knit pat um, a frozen fractal yoke cowl to go with my sweater and gypsy sweater. I've got an idea for him for a sweater for next year, but I'm not gonna make it for this year. So I thought just having a cowl, I could do a cowl 
um, because I ended up basically gypsies, which is almost a cowl. Um, I mean, honestly, yeah, gypsies is almost a cowl. So really the cowl, do you think I can fit my head through here? Do you want to see? Baby heads. I have the tiniest head if I haven't mentioned that. Um, okay. So basically I would probably do, um, his ribbing open so that it would have more flare potential, but yeah, this is generally what it would do. Um, and I just want to be able to see these, uh, these guys so that it would match with Gypsy and I. So basically this is what I'll be, I'll be making him <laughs> thereabouts. I can't believe I just got the dog sweater on. <sighs> oh, yeah, I have a teeny head. Um, this is why like when she wears it, it looks so skinny and then she puts it on and it like goes down, down. Um, so the next one that I make her, I'm going to cast, excuse me, cast on fewer stitches and then I'm going to do the first increase. Whereas this one I cast on these stitches and then I went straight and then I did color work and then I didn't increase. So the first one, instead of normally you would increase here and I didn't. So, um, yeah, it's like basically what I'm gonna do for, for him. And I think I might leave these out and just make it more um, stockinette. There's the word, oh my God, totally forgot. So we're gonna have a little little pile of loose sweaters, but I'm thinking for Pat, I'll make a lumberjack next year, but I'll do those, um, maybe not in white, maybe in like silver, cause that's what uh, mine is and Gypsy's is. So um, in silver, like right across the front. And I think it's gonna be really good. Ah, so excited. Um, and then the last thing that I have to talk about, cause I blathered about everything, is um, a new pop that I wanna welcome home. This is Cedric. Um, and I have a um, Instagram friend who was de-stashing her pop and I got him. And I'm so excited. And it came with these adorable minis. Um, and this was like, honestly, forever ago. I'm so sorry. It's every time he's been hanging out downstairs on my table. And every time I forget to bring him where I'm podcasting, I'm now in the basement. So I thought I would have enough natural light from the door, but it doesn't seem to truly be filtering through. So we're working on it, but he is so cute. And I don't have Cedric yet. So he's gonna join everybody back here today. So excited. And um, yeah, I have like one more minute. So um, as I was down, you know, at Joann's, I also found these, uh, they're little labels. So um, I've got, this took forever. You better use this and one of a kind. Um, I think I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna sew you better use this into Pat's cardigan. And I'm tempted to put one of a kind on Quinn's blanket. I just think that that little leather would be cute. But then again, I don't want her like eating things. So I'll leave it off. Maybe I'll put it on something in the future for her. But I thought they were just so funny. And this took forever. It's great. Like I really want to put that on something. Probably my Hermione Granger because that is actually taking forever because I keep putting it down. But yeah, so I want to thank everyone for coming back and hanging out with me. Bad lighting, quick podcast and all. Um, it's been a joy. I'm going to go start some dinner and um, get things settled and figure out a new, uh, I really need just a light ring. I need a light ring and that's that. <laughs> so um, thank you for coming back. I have missed you all um, and I can't wait to see you in the next podcast. Bye.